Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. If this is your first time checking out House and Home, I'm so glad you're here. We are going to be continuing my fall decorating series. I have a couple of areas in our home left to decorate. So we still have loads of fall decorating inspiration. I know that some of you have already started decorating. Maybe you've already finished and some of you wait until October. I totally get that. Thankfully, it's starting to cool down some. We're getting those nice cool evenings and mornings, but midday is pretty toasty still. So totally get that if you prefer to hold off, but I am adding a little more fall decor into our home this week. We've completed a couple of areas, our kitchen, our breakfast nook. I shared my big office transformation reveal video last week, but this week we're focusing on the entryway and I'm going to share how I've decorated it for fall. I have truly enjoyed bringing all of my latest finds from the antique stores, Facebook marketplace, thrifting, all of the beautiful found unique items into our home. It has really just inspired my creativity and I've had honestly the best time bringing all of these darker, moodier colors. I've brought tons of texture into these spaces. We've done some little DIY projects here and there, flipping different things that I've found at antique markets or um, from Facebook Marketplace. I'm a huge Facebook Marketplace shopper and honestly have found some really good things. So stay tuned. There will be a Facebook Marketplace piece that I'm sharing in today's video, but in my next video, we're going to be decorating our front living room. And oh my goodness, y'all, I found one of my favorite pieces I think I've ever found. And there is an awesome story behind it. I was even shocked myself. It just was the coolest thing. It was the coolest thing. So can't wait to share that with you. Stay tuned for next week for that one. So for today, like I mentioned, we're gonna be in the entryway and I'm going to show the footage that I just captured of me putting this space together and show you, of course, the finished product. I hope you love it. I hope that it gives you some decorating inspiration, even if it's not the exact same style that you tend to lean towards. Um, I hope that you're able to at least appreciate it and enjoy it. Here is my Facebook Marketplace find for the entryway. Now I did share this with y'all a couple of weeks back and I've just kind of been hiding it away in a little corner until I was ready to find the right spot for it. I did end up going in with the European Gold Rub and Buff to just give it a little bit more of that muted gold look. It gives it more of an antique feel instead of a bright gold. And I try to incorporate a lot of that more antique gold in our home through our light fixtures and hardware and frames and things like that. So if you've been around for a minute, you know that I love to use that on all the things. So this mirror was really inspired by um, or at least me purchasing it was inspired by Restoration Hardware's showroom. And in the showroom, they have this gorgeous wall of gold antique looking mirrors. I mean, there's got to be at least 20 or 30 of them. And I just loved the statement that they added to that space. And I knew that I wanted to bring something like that into our home. When I saw this one on Marketplace, I knew that it was meant to be in our house. So I'm really glad to be adding that to this space. It is very large and definitely just the perfect statement. books have all been collected over time from various antique stores as well as this little candle holder and my big gourd. I love that gourd so much. Now this frame is from Target a while back. I actually took down two of my big gallery walls over the last couple of weeks and I'm using those pieces of art 
in different areas of our home now. The vase that you see on the left there is also from Target. It's been a good year, year and a half since I purchased that one. And the stems in there are my stems from A Floral. They are the brown magnolias and I love them. They're gorgeous and they really do look fairly real. And I just love that little touch of fall that I'm adding to this table. I popped into our Trader Joe's the other day and they have these little mini cinnamon brooms I've always seen the larger ones at like grocery stores and things like that but I really like how teeny tiny this is because it's perfect for setting on our entryway table or hanging on a little hook so that right when you walk into our home you just have this scent of this season and boy does it do that it smells amazing and we're really enjoying it so over here by the front door, this is kind of our foyer area. I didn't do very much. I put a wreath on the door. That one's from Amazon. And then we have our little plaid rug. And I really love this. I got this one from Target a little while back. And I just love that it has that plaid design. It really calls out fall without being super loud. I still get to enjoy it being a little bit more neutral and just kind of fitting along with our color palette. Underneath our table, I have added two beautiful deep dark brown baskets from Studio McGee. They are perfect for tossing in a little throw blanket or maybe a pillow just for decor, some magazines or books. You could even put shoes in there if you wanted to since we are in the entryway, but I love these baskets and the handles on the sides and just thought that they would just continue uh, that feel of just warm textures and warm up this space in the entryway. A couple of months ago, my dad passed down some of my grandpa's books that he had collected um, over his lifetime and um, just so, so special to be able to add those to my collection, especially now that he is no longer with us here, Earthside, I just really appreciate being able to see him in the different items that have been passed down to me over the years. Here are some more picture frames. I used to have some lighter colored bird frames on this wall, but I wanted to darken things up a little bit for the fall season. These actually came from our front living room and the gallery wall that we had there. And I brought them to the hallway here and I really love them. They add a nice little pop of black to this hallway. bug is ready to go outside so I'm gonna end this video here but I hope that you all have a wonderful weekend and if you would take a moment to let me know in the comments down below what is one of your favorite spaces or rooms in your home to decorate for the fall season alrighty friends see you next time say bye